Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. My name is Kimberly and I was just about to make a form that integrated with Trello. So every submission that I capture through JotForm, I want it to create a card in one of my current Trello boards. So if you're needing help with that too, let's jump over to the dashboard and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna wanna create a form. Now you can either start from scratch, use a template, or you can import from form. My favorite is to start from scratch, so that's what we're gonna do. You can also choose between classic form or the card form. Again, I love the classic form, so we're gonna start with that. One of the things I do whenever I start a new form is I get rid of everything. So I'm gonna get rid of this header and I'm gonna go over and I'm going to choose to have their full name because I wanna know who's submitting this form. The next thing I'm gonna grab is I'm gonna go up to widgets and I am going to choose the multi-text fields instead of the short text under the basics. And I will tell you why once we jump over to Trello. Now I'm gonna erase all of these and this is where I wanna know about my people's goals. So I wanna know their personal monthly sales goals I wanna know their monthly team sales goals, and then I also want to know about their team promotions. Then once we are done with that, we can click Update Widget. And then from here, we're gonna go back over to Basic. We're gonna go down to Drop Down, and this is where I want them to choose what level they are because I am working with numerous levels of people. So we're gonna enter in levels one through six in the options. And then once we are done there, I need to make all of these questions required. So we're gonna click on properties. We're gonna mark every single one of these as required. Go up to the name and required. All right, now let's make this form look how we want it to look. I'm gonna click on that form designer and I like the form being white, but I do wanna change the background or the page color. So I'm gonna grab a picture and upload it so that way it fills the background. Good deal. Now let's change the way the submit button looks. We're gonna hit properties and then change button style and I'm a huge fan of that light gray. Now let's go up to settings and this is where the fun happens with Trello. We're gonna go to integrations over on the left and we're gonna search for Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. There it is, we're gonna select it. We need to authenticate, so we're gonna authenticate. If you haven't done this before, it might ask you to log into JotForm. I already have, so I'm gonna click allow. And now that that is done, before we go forward, we need to make sure that you already have a board created in Trello. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Trello, I'll give you a brief, brief overview. So this is an example of a board, and this board is called Team Goals. Each one of these gray areas is called a list. Now, inside of a list, you can have a card which has more information, and that's where JotForm comes into play for us. Now, one thing that I wanna make sure that we do before we go back over to JotForm is I'm gonna go over to my menu and we are gonna create some labels. So I'm gonna click on labels, and I'm gonna give each one of these colors, I'm gonna assign it one of those levels, so level one through six. So we'll do green level one, we'll do a yellow at level two, orange, level three, and so forth, all the way down through level six. All right, good deal. If you need to make more labels than six, you can always add another one. But from here, we should be good so we can go back over to JotForm. All right, for action type, it's wanting to know what type of integration we want JotForm to take, and we want it to create a new card. Now, for boards, you're gonna click on that drop down. you're gonna choose the board that you created. Again, mine is called Team Goals. And then for the list, we need to decide which list we want this to go in. So for me, I'm wanting all of their submissions to go into February Goals, so I'm gonna choose February Goals. Now, the first step where it says name, it is wanting us to choose what we want the card to be named. So from the drop down menu, I want each card to be their specific name. All right, next up, we're gonna click on add a new field and we're going to choose description. And now this is where that multi-text comes into play. So we're gonna do the drop down and we're gonna choose type A. And if we would have chosen to use short text, it would have only allowed us to put one thing in at a time. That's where the multi text comes in, it's gonna put everything in that description. So that is what we want there. Let's do an add a new field and let's choose the levels now. So we want the labels of the cards to be the levels. Let's complete integration and then finish up. 
and we are good to go. So let's go to publish, let's grab that link and let's give it a test. So we will do test name as the person's name and then let's enter in some goals. Then for the level, let's choose level two and submit. We'll get our thank you page. Now let's jump over to Trello and let's see if it worked. And there is our very first card. You can see test name. And if you hover over the yellow label, you'll be able to see that it says level two. Pretty cool. Now we click on it. Look at that. All that text that we wanted, the question and the answer shows up in the description. That is one of my favorite things about that widget. All right, now let's go, let's do it again. Let's try it again. We'll do a, we'll do test number two and we'll enter in some goals. And then for level this time, we'll choose something different so we can see a different color. Submit, thank you page, and our new card, test two. Again, you can hover over, you can see level four, and there is all of our goals. So let's close up here in Trello. Let's go back over to JotForm and let's wrap up our form. So let's go ahead. We're going to rename our form monthly goals. And then from here, let's go to settings and let's go back to integration. And I want to show you, let's say we are in a new month. Let's say it's September or November and we need to update it. I always have a calendar reminder. Um, to come back in and then where it says list instead of choosing february goals we're going to put the new month that we want those submissions the list that we want it to go in and then from there we'll finalize finish it up and that is it your jot form is now linked to trello so every submission that comes through will land as a card in the list that you chose so if any questions don't be afraid to ask put it down below and i will see you guys later bye y'all